So, um, you see there's a typical tropical house feeling as you know it from Kaigo, Matoma and Thomas Jack and those guys. Um, it could, this project could sound like the Cut Your Teeth remix completely. I guess you know that song, but let's go into uh, this project just a little bit. Um, we have uh, 100 BPM. We are using, uh, in the drum section, we are using a kick over here. It's playing four to the floor notes. And it's filtered down in the build-up section over here and later the filter opens up more so the kick is more noticeable, the high frequencies. But I'm cutting out a lot of stuff of this kick in the, in the mid frequencies over here. And then later I'm applying um, multiband compression and I guess this uh, this template will be made available later and then I'm going to swap this one with the Ableton uh, built-in um, multi-band compressor. Anyways, um, the second um, element over here is a percussive element. Let's listen in. And it's combined. Uh, it's, it's working as a clap and a, a snare somehow. And it's combined with this sound. With this like finger snip and I doubled this one so it sounds like finger snipping um, also over here there's a simple shaker acting like a crash with a f 4 over 1 delay 1 over 4 delay and um, we have uh, another percussive element over here what is this one doing uh, it, well, it's not important, it's just like adding a little bit in the end. <laughs> um, there's a, this uh, actually our offbeat hi-hat. It's actually uh, always on 113, 123 and so on. And um, it's uh, it's doubled with a, with a 1 over 1 delay in a well, a little bit of feedback. You notice it. Um, also, uh, there's a ride over here. Um, what is this one doing? Yeah, it works a lot better in context. And we have a shaker over here. Always shaking in uh, the four and three position and uh, what else is there i think another crash clap kind of element i think this effect it's not adding much and we can also check out the bongos those are actually quite similar to the ones that uh, kaigo is always using and um yeah we can actually get rid of those elements over here just Need those. So um, this is the drumming. Um, the bass is a simple operator sinus curve. Um, I only um, put up this uh, oscillator over here. I have a little bit of attack back there. I'm using the sinus over here. Uh, I should sidechain this as well. And um, nothing really fancy happening here. If you have a um, sausage fattener, some people, I know some people have that one. Um, well, you could put it on top of some of your elements and, and get your mix a little thicker and saturate a little bit more but yeah you can also try it with the ableton built-in saturator plugins there uh, i think there's one over here you can like try to use this one if you don't have the sausage filter uh, fattener and then you can like try to apply this one <coughs> on top of the base and we are going to the um, leads well, no, let's skip the leads and quickly go to the plugs and pads. 
And um, as you notice, um, this one is, for example, Bellaphone out of uh, one of those Ableton packs that come with Ableton Suite. Uh, you can download them from able.com if you don't have that and you still want to use this uh, template I will copy uh, this into a uh, freest um, no, I will actually I will like record one note of out of this plug put it into a simpler and you will be able to like change all the notes and everything over here in this track so don't worry about that let's listen in here and in into this plug Yeah, that sounds pretty um, like percussive and I'm combining that one with another one. That's actually a massive patch. It's, it's that kind of a dead mouse sound. It's a saw, saw wave, another saw wave. It's a low pass filter. We have a DAF filter over here. Um, we are using well, a little bit of noise, not too much of that. We are filtering in the insert effect over here. Let's see the routing. The insert one is right after filter one. So here, applying after this one. And um, we are applying a little bit of reverb and uh, delay as well. Um, and we are like automating a little bit in the, <coughs> in the um, equalizer over here. So um, you could uh, like stop your screen and copy this if you want to use that sound. I'm combining that sound with this other plug I showed you before. And I also use um, a pad in the background, heavily side-chained over here, and also cut out a little bit of stuff in, in the high frequencies and I've taken out a little bit of the lower end in the middle and kept it on the sides. And um, um, another another massive instance uh, over here, adding a little bit warm atmosphere. Um, it's a it's a very very simple patch. You can see actually. It's just made out of the init, out of the init patch. So I, I, I took oscillator one and I, no, I didn't even take oscillator three. I took oscillator one and took a saw wave and, um, well, that's basically everything that's happening. And then there's a filter applied over here, cut off a uh, very low, and um, there are not even effects inside of massive. As you can see, I, I, I applied the equalizers and also the reverb outside of massive you can do it inside outside doesn't matter actually yeah and then we have this other element over here this one yeah and that's uh, a synth as well and um, Let's see, are we using part B? Yes, a little bit. We are using a pulse wave over here. Um, sinus over here, sinus over here. And this one is actually very, very silent. Very quiet. And a cutoff filter over here. Nothing special really. <clears throat> um, I didn't show the chords yet. So those are the chords that are playing right now. Um, yeah, very simple. I think it's only five chords overall playing here. And um, we also have a piano over here. Um, yeah, this one's off already. And it's the grand piano. It's a it's a sound you're getting with your Ableton version as well. And um, well, let's see what this piano does. It's filtered. And that's 
kind of a key element to the Kaigo style. Um, the piano doesn't really hit too much on the first on the first step, but it always like lags a little bit behind, and and that's how you're getting you're getting a groove still out of this very slow tempo. Um, it's just like it it kicks the piano and the plucks they kick in later, and they somehow then. Uh, create an equilibrium between the um, the drums on the first hit and like everything that's lagging behind at the slow tempo. It really like gives adds the groove here. So. Uh, the last element we uh, really need to look at is the lead section over here. I have two cylinders. One is an octave lower than the other one. Let's play into this one. And I think the perfect, the perfect match for the Kaigo sign sound can be um, found in Nexus, in uh, the Nexus 2, should be somewhere in there, I've seen that before. I'm not going to use Nexus here as I, I figure that not many people are, are really using it, so I'm, I'm trying to make it with Ableton, uh, with Silent and Massive only, and um, if you uh, uh, if you want to use this without having silent or massive, um, as I told you, I'm going to copy those tracks, put them into simpler devices, and you will still be able to use it. Um, so, what is happening with the sound in uh, in in, si in silent over here? So we basically um, we're using a, um, square wave over here and nothing else. It's only a square wave. We have eight voices over here. Um, we put the volume up. We are not detuning at all. Um, and we are applying no effect over here. We are just putting the pitch in there and like slightly turning up this knob. And yeah, making sure we are active over here and we are having a little bit of portamento. And. Um, Uh, it's filtered over here. Yeah, you see, um, I cut out a lot over here in the low end because it has a very percussive um, kicking around in this low end. Also from coming from the side chaining, and I'm I'm, I'm cutting this out simply. Um, Reverb, simple delay, a little bit of panning, and utility taking the volume down a little bit. And uh, we have another one over here. It's basically the same uh, cylinder patch, and um, it's just one octave higher. And I'm also using a pan flute uh, from also from the Ableton packs um, that adds a little bit of this white noisy kind of feeling. Well, I hope I hope this answers some questions on how to do uh, this tropical house style in in Ableton and and like use massive and, and silent for that. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, sign up for our channel, subscribe, um, like us on Facebook, and um, check the description if you're interested in this project file. And see you next time.